The potato takes many forms. Mash, roast, jacket, crisp, chips. My personal favourite, the potato waffle. Did I list all of those foods just so I could eat a potato waffle? No, I did it so I could eat two potato waffles. But we can do more than just eat them. Potatoes can power clocks, you can use them to survive on Mars, and we can use them to make aliens. I'm going to show you how to make your very own potato print aliens. You will need some potatoes. I have some new potatoes, but you can use any type you want. A knife to cut them in half and an adult to help you do this. Kitchen roll, some paper, a paintbrush and some different coloured paints, a pen to draw on your alien features, and if you have some, some googly eyes. First step is to cut our potatoes in half. Make sure you've got something to lean on. When you cut them, they may be a bit wet, so use your kitchen roll to dry them off, or maybe leave them to dry for a bit. Time for some painting. Choose your colour and paint the potato, and print onto your paper. Some of my paint came out a bit weird and congealed, but I think it actually gave it a nice effect. When you've done all the potato printing you want, let the paint dry. When the paint's dry, it's time to turn your potato prints into aliens. Take your pen and draw on some features. No one's seen aliens yet, so how many eyes do you think they'll have? Will they even have eyes? How many hands and feet, or will they have tentacles? Think about the planet they might live on. Is it really hot or really cold? Is it really dry or is it covered in oceans? That's why I gave my green one gills and fins like an alien fish. The hunt for real aliens is still ongoing. They probably won't look like the aliens I'm drawing, but will be teeny tiny microorganisms. One mission that might help us find extraterrestrial life, or signs of it, is the Mars Sample Return Mission. NASA and ESA are working together to bring an actual Mars rock down to Earth for scientists to study. This will take a long time, but the first steps are coming into play. The NASA Perseverance rover, set to launch in summer 2020, will be sample caching, storing Mars rocks and soil in tubes on the surface, to be then collected by a small ESA rover. The sample will then be sent into orbit and eventually brought back to Earth. I like to be open-minded, and space is all about unanswered questions. So I think there could be a little round green alien with a crown and a moustache out there appreciating the amazing portrait I've done of it. Then I'm going to add some googly eyes to bring them to life. And there we have my potato print aliens. I hope you enjoy creating your own. Why not share your aliens with us and send me your favorite ones? And I've decided the slimy orange one may well be the best piece of art I've ever done. So I can eat two potato waffles. Five second rule. No, I'm joking. Or am I? <laughs>